Swanson Maximum Muscle Report here at the 2017 uh, Masters Nationals here with Jared Barlow, winner of the 35 Bantamweight, the 40 Bantamweight. Um, how are we feeling? Feeling pretty good. A little tired, but overall uh, feeling pretty good considering, you know? Yeah. Now let's give them a little bit of a background of the story. Okay, so you right. just got done with the, uh, you won your class. Yes. Get to the overalls. You yes. narrowly missed your pro card twice. twice. So on one end, you know, you gotta be feeling pretty good because yeah. you won your class. Yeah. But on the other end, you just narrowly missed your pro card. Yeah. So it's kind of bittersweet, kind of talk us through yeah. how you're feeling. Yeah, well, my goal when I came here was, you number one, to, to win my weight class. You know, that was number one. Um, but overall, yeah, I wanted, to, I wanted to get my pro card as a bantam. I'm not quite sure if that's been done here before. Um, but that was definitely a goal in mind. A little disappointing not, not to nail it. Um, but I think that, uh, you know, I, I, this package that I brought, you know, I'm really, I'm really honored and, and humbled to have brought a package to, to be, you know, to fit on that stage with a lot of those guys and, and, and feel like at, as a bantamweight, I fit right in up there with those big guys. And, uh, you know, that really is cool because those guys, are, I'm giving up 20, 30, 50 pounds, but I'm right up there with them and, and they look like I belong. And that was really my goal. You know, and yeah, the pro card didn't come. You know, I can always go to Miami and, and get it as a bantam. But I like competing in Masters. Um, because I like to go up against the bigger guys because there just doesn't tend to be a lot of thick, big bantams. They tend to be a little bit more, a uh, little, little taller and a little leaner. So, you know, there, at least in this, my region where I am, there's, there's just not a lot of competition at that level. So I like to go up against the big guys. Well, that, that's a great thing that you don't yeah. want the easy way out and, you're, yeah. and you're, you're trying to go against the big guys. Yeah. And as a bantamweight, you're right. You know, a lot of the bantamweights are just real skinny, over dieted, don't have a lot of muscle, yeah. but you pack a lot of muscle on this frame. Yeah. Your symmetry is great. I yeah. mean, the package you brought was really yeah. amazing. So it's going to be interesting to see what's next for you, yeah. you know? And what I really also want to talk about too is this, is that, you know, this isn't what you do full time. You're an anesthesiologist, you're <laughs> yeah. a doctor. Yeah. So how do you balance being a doctor competing <laughs> and how, yeah. how do you make all this work? Because uh, obviously you're a busy guy. Yeah, well, you know, my day starts promptly at 3.30 uh, a.m. <laughs> when I get up and uh, bang out some Stairmaster, mm. go to work all day, after work, uh, hit the gym, do a little bit more uh, cardio. Um, but, you know, it starts with uh, a very understanding family, a very supportive wife. My wife, Michelle, is a rock. She's always been and uh, my biggest supporter and uh, you know the family sacrifices a lot when you know you work a full-time job and also compete at, at this level um, so you know I, I owe a lot to and I'm a very lucky guy to have her with me and also my um, you know my coach is uh, is Joe Cummings of the specialty company in, in Providence Rhode Island okay. and he's a, a good it was a friend of mine who approached me probably I don't know about 10 years ago in the gym um, when I you know I'd always worked out but I hadn't really gotten my diet on track and he said hey look if you uh, if you get your diet on track I can get you on stage and that was probably about like nine ten years ago right. and uh, really tra helped me transform my body um, I put on a lot of muscle cut a lot of fat but I always wanted to stay a bantam because I like I like competing as a bantam I don't want to slip into the lightweights I could pack on some weight I want to stay a bantam and just be the biggest bantam I can be and we'll see how far we can go you know it's uh you know it's a lot of work it takes a lot of time anybody who knows you know especially with a full-time job so you know you got to balance family too and uh, so where I go next maybe Miami um, and win it as a, try and win my pro card as a bantam at the at nationals but yeah that's something I'm gonna have to sit down and talk to the family about and see because you know this is this is a hobby for me I'm not gonna go on and and you know be competing in the 212 you know what I mean it's right. like you know I I'd like to reach that goal. It's a goal just to say, look, I did it. But, uh, you know, if I get it, maybe I'd do some master shows. But I'm not going to, like, then go, you know, bulk up to, like, 240 and compete as a 212. I'm only 5'1", dude. I'd look like, you know, <laughs> I'd feel like crap, but I'd look like a clown. <laughs> so I'm happy. I'm happy here. You know what I mean? Well, size isn't always yeah. everything, and you definitely no. prove that. Your symmetry, no. you come in in hard and conditioned. Yeah. I mean, obviously, yeah. the proof's in the pudding. You won. You won yeah. convincingly. And yeah. you have a great package. You just didn't win to win. You no. just your win. I, listen, this is the best package I've brought. I think that, you know, the guys uh, that, that won their pro cards well deserved. I mean, you know, uh, I think, uh, you know, I think it was they went from middle to super heavy, so they went with size, and hey, it's bodybuilding. You know, you got muscle and you go. And, you know, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't as, I wasn't 
conditioned so much better that they could overlook the size that these guys had. And hey, that's that's hey, that's all the more power to them, man. That's you know, I have I have no problem with it. I feel great. I brought the best package I could. I couldn't have done any better on my own. So I walk out proud. You know, it's, it's a bummer not to get your card, but shit, I can get it somewhere else. You know what I mean? If I want it bad enough, I'll get it. I'm not. I'm not. You know, the question is, do I want to keep continue this through the fall and and go to November? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I got other, I got other interests. I want to get on my boat. Uh, I've been, you know, I've, I've been, been cutting all summer. I'll never cut during the summer again, man. <laughs> I, I want to get on my boat for the next freaking two months and relax uh, from Rhode Island. So there's a lot of ocean, a lot of places to hang. So well, <laughs> we're gonna let Jared get back to that goal, getting Thank on his so boat much, yeah. and uh, <laughs> relaxing with his family. And this is Brent Swanson, Maximum Muscle Report, so here much, with man. your bantamweight winner, the 35 and 40, Jared Barlow. <laughs>